This year, I made two videos about embroidery for Christmas cards. In this video, I'll show you how to make the red card with snowflakes, and I'll also give you some tips for embroidering cards. I'll also show you how you can use this design to make a gift tag. Don't forget to check out the other video for some more designs. You can find the link in the description of this video. If you liked the video, please like and share your recreations on Instagram or Twitter. You will need a folded card, some decorative cardboard of the same size as the front of the card, an embroidery template, a needle and embroidery thread, tape, scissors, something to make small holes in the cardboard, and glue. Start by placing the template on the card and secure it. You can use some paper clips to make sure it doesn't move. I wanted to mirror the design, so I turned the template. Make the holes in the cardboard on the marked places. You need to make a somewhat larger hole in the center of the snowflakes. Do this by making a smaller hole first, so you don't tear the paper. Don't forget to protect your working surface with something like thick felt or cardboard from an old box. You can check whether you've got all the holes easily by holding the card with template in front of some source of light. Here you can see I missed one. Start embroidering from the back of the piece of cardboard. Use some tape to secure the thread on the back. Make the snowflakes by making stitches as indicated on the template. When you run out of thread, use some tape to secure the end to the back of the cardboard and start with a new piece of thread. When you finish the embroidery, you can use some glue to secure the cardboard on the front of the card. You can use the small snowflake design to make a tag to put on a gift. You'll need a 5 by 12 cm piece of decorative cardboard and the same embroidery supplies as you can use for the card. Fold the piece of cardboard in half. Place the template of the small snowflake on top of one half of the cardboard and make the holes. For embroidering, you can also use a double thread for this design instead of a single one. Use some glue to close the cardboard piece after you finish the snowflake. Make a hole and take off two corners to finish the tag. 